Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, uh, so we meet again in this video Alright, so in this video I will talk about magnetostatic Alright, um, in a magnetostatic we will utilize the last two of Maxwell equation And uh, because of in this case we are considering a static field phenomena So that's why any parameters that change uh, towards time will be regarded as uh, zero all right so under this um, equation so we have three important parameters so first is uh, our vector b so this is our that represent the magnetic uh, flux density all right so the unit for this is uh, tesla so we have a vector h here so vector h is represent uh, magnetic Feel intensity or the strength the strength for the magnetic field so the unit for this is ampere per meter and we have another parameter which is a vector j so i guess this vector is quite uh, familiar for you now okay because we have been uh, seen this parameter uh, in electrostatic which is represent the current density okay the unit for this is uh, ampere per meter squared Alright, so similar like what we have in uh, electrostatic, so in the magnetostatic, so we have one expression that relate uh, between these two field uh, parameter, which is a vector of B and as well as the vector of H. By, the, by looking to this uh, formula, so we have a vector, vector of B is equal to mu vector of H. Alright, and this uh, value for mu, uh, mu is represent the uh, representative for the material uh, constitutive parameter okay like we have what we have in electrostatic so basically we have epsilon so similar to this uh, in, inside this, this magnetic field so we have mu which is represent the magnetic uh, constitutive uh, parameter all right okay when we have a stationary charge so we can have one phenomena what we call it as a electrostatic all right and then when we move this charge from one point to another with a with a fix of uh, velocity so basically we will produce a steady current or a fixed current okay so under this fixed current so basically we will produce what we call it as a magnetostatic which is in this current so it will induce induce a magnetic field and because of it's it produced by the steady current or the fixed current so basically the the field that the magnetic field induced by that particular current in a, a constant value so that particular case so we call it as a magnetostatic so as i mentioned just now in uh, electric magnetic field so we have uh, permeability or mu so this mu is uh, one of the material constitutive uh, in uh, magnetic field all right so and we basically we have mu is equal to mu r mu naught so this one is almost similar on uh, what we have in electric field so we have a re relative permeability and air permeability all right so whereas this relative permeability is depending on the uh, several or dedicated material all right and basically for mu naught is represent air, air permeability so this is the value for the air permeability and basically most of the time uh, the material that known as uh, di uh, or non-conducting material in a magnetic uh, in a magnetic field having value uh, of permeability is equal to mu naught all right and uh, basically similar like in uh, what we have in electro electric field in in magnetic field also we need to classify uh, the material okay so depending on the uh, dedicated uh, type okay under magnetic field so we have two type generally 
Of course, we have another what we call it as a partial conductor. But let's consider to this, let's focus into these two types first. So we have ferromagnetic material and we have non-ferromagnetic material. Alright, so normally under material that govern under ferromagnetic material, so we will have the value for relative permeability is greater than 1. And sometimes some of the material having value of M mu r is greater than 1000. So in order to uh, show that that particular uh, material is a good, good conductor for the magnetic field. Alright, and uh, basically for the non ferromagnetic so we will have our relative permeability is equal to 1. And because of that, for the non ferromagnetic so the value for the permeability will be equal to uh, mu0. Alright, so in electric field, so whenever any energy that we produce in electric field, the storage element of it is we call it as a capacitor. And um, most of the time, the energy that store in electric field is in terms of charge. Alright, and um, in a magnetic field, so we will have the similar, uh, the similar analogy or the similar term. Okay, so basically the energy will be stored in terms of flux and by storing energy in a flux, so basically we will produce what we call it as an inductor. The term that normally, that, that are familiar to you when you study about uh, electric circuit. Alright. So similar that what we have in electric field, so we also have a similar concept, what we call it magnetic force in a magnetic field. Alright, as uh, like what we have in electric field, so electric force or Fe is defined as volume of force experienced by a charge located or reside in uh, electric field. Okay, so let's say we have one field, one electric field, okay, induced by some other uh, charge for example, and then we put another charge here. Okay, so let's say we have a positive particle charge. And then, so this charge, because of this charge, is reside in an um, electric field. So basically, this charge will be experienced by a uh, certain force, what we call it, and we call it as an electric force. Alright, so similar, this, the similar concept that will be applied in a magnetic field. Alright, so we'll have a magnetic force. And the magnetic force is defined as value of force act on a moving charge with a velocity of U reside in a B. So, B is a magnetic field. Alright. So, generally, the force for the uh, magnetic force can be calculated by using this equation. So, whereas, so this is our vector for force, magnetic force, Fm, is equal to Q multiplied by its velocity and cross with uh, uh, the value for magnetic flux density on that particular magnetic field. Right? So the unit for this formula is a Newton. Okay, so whereas the Fm is represent magnetic force, so the unit of it is Newton. Uh, so the Q is represent the charge, okay, particle charge, and the unit for Q is a Coulomb. So I think this one is quite familiar for you. And uh, because of in a magnetic field, so we are only considering a moving charge a moving a constant moving charge in order to induce our magnetic field so the u will be the vector of u will be equal to velocity of the charge and the unit is a meter per second and because of the existence of the field right so in this particular formula so we need to consider as well the value for the magnetic flux density so we have a vector b here and the vector b here so as i mentioned just now the unit for this particular vector is uh, Tesla. Alright, as we can see here, so we involve two different uh, vector, vector algebra. So we have dot product here and we have a cross product here. Alright, and by using this uh, analogy, okay, so we have, so let's say we have two vector and these two vector is, uh, have, we, we perform a cross product a cost operator in that particular vector. Alright, so the result for this uh, operation is equal to n cap 
so this one is the uh, unit vector okay for the result for this uh, operation so it's equal to uh, cross with uh, sorry um, amplitude a dot with amplitude b and multiply with the sign between these two vector all right and basically the amplitude for that process is equal to this one so whereas in this case the end cap value is will be equal to one right because of this is uh, one of the uh, vector unit so based on this argument so we can rewrite our uh, our expression that i shown just now is equal to this one so whereas the magnitude for the uh, magnetic force is equal to q uh, multiply with the amplitude for the direct, uh, for the velocity so multiply with the amplitude for the magnetic flux uh, density and the angle between uh, these two parameters or these two vectors which is the vector of u and as well as the vector of b all right so based on the expression that we have been seen just now so we will have our magnitude for magnetic force will be maximized is the angle between speed and the magnetic flux density is equal to 90 degree if uh, the direction for the uh, moving charge and the uh, magnetic flux density is the same so in that particular case so we have the angle of the those uh, vector is equal to 0 or 180 degree so in this case so we will have the magnitude for our force will be become zero all right so this is how we we uh, visualize it so we have direction of charge here and this is direction of uh, our vector of b so the direction should be different with uh, some value of uh, some value of uh, angle and in this in this particular case so we will have the value of force is represented by this uh, formula formula all right so in order to maximize this value of force so we need to make sure that the direction of the motion of the for the electron should, should be perpendicular to the direction for the uh, of the uh, magnetic flux density all right so in this case so we will have the magnitude for the force is equal to q multiplied by the amplitude of u and multiplied by the amplitude for the uh, magnetic flux density all right and uh, because of the charge will become source of uh, electric field so in that particular case so we will have this situation happen in electric field too okay in that case so instead of we are we are um, producing a magnetic force so we will have another force uh, that induced to which is electric force in that particular case so we call it because of the charge is experienced both of electric and magnetic force so we call it in that particular matter or that, that particular force as electromagnetic force and electric electric and electromagnetic force is defined as fm plus fe all right so the equation governed by the magnetic force is given by this expression so as we uh, seen just now and this is uh, the, equi the equation for the electric force is given by this expression so whereas fe is equal to q dot with the uh, electric field intensity all right if we factorize the value for the q so the electromagnetic force can be calculated by using this formula so q multiplied by vector of e plus vector of u cross with vector of b all right and this core in this force so we, we define it as a, a Lorentz force okay so the main difference between electric force and magnetic force so basically in a, in a electric force the electric the, the force that produced is the same direction as the uh, the electric field right as we can see in this formula right so because of we are involving this uh, operation with a dot product so we will, we will see that basically the force that produced in this particular case is similar direction okay between force and as well as the uh, field strength direction so however 
in the magnetic force so we will have the direction for the force is perpendicular with the uh, vector of b okay so as we can see in this figure as well so we have this is our uh, magnetic flux uh, density direction so this is the direction of the uh, direction of the uh, particle charge motion so we will have the direction of the force is uh, for example we, we consider this is as a plane so the direction of force will be flowing outside uh, from this plane all right and uh, in a electric force so the force will be experienced on either on uh, on the static or moving queue or moving charge okay as long as that particular charge is reside on uh, inside a electric field okay so whether the charge is static or moving so basically we will have or we will induce some what we call it as a electric force so however in a magnetic force the magnetic force is only can be produced in a moving charge only okay because when we have a moving moving charge then we can have our magnetic flux density okay and when the charge is static for example in this particular case so the value for the magnetic flux uh, density will be equal to zero tesla right so that's why in this particular case the magnetic force is only exists when we consider a moving charge uh, in an electric force so we will have uh, expanding energy okay so in order to displ displacing uh, a charge so this is the value for the energy so dwe is equal to fe dot dl and from this particular uh, expression so basically we can derive what we call it as a potential energy and the potential energy is equal to dwe divided by q and this is when we solve it then we will have a minus vector of e dot dl and when we integrate this then we will have what we call it as a, a voltage different voltage or potential different okay so compared to the in the magnetic force so, so basically the energy that produced by the charge will be remain constant okay on that particular case all right so basically the force that uh, act, act on this charge will not change the uh, direct uh, sorry uh, will not change the speed of the uh, moving charge but only act only will change the the direction of the uh, the charge motion okay so we have this is our uh, equation for the magnetic energy so it's equal to fm so the magnetic force dot with uh, magnetic of sorry the vector for the n so this is the uh, distance of the charge motion okay and in this case so we will have the direction of motion and the distance will be in the same direction okay so this is uh, in a electron in an electron uh, parameters all right so however as we have here okay so we see that the direction for the force and the distance of the q motion the uh, q motion is a perpendicular to each other all right so because of that so we will have the vector of fm okay so dot with the vector of dm so by this by referring to this uh, by referring to this formula so we will have equal to zero all right so i think that's all for now as an introduction to the magnetostatic uh, chapter all right so should you have any further question or suggestion or feedback so you may uh, send it through ULAB. all right thank you and uh, good luck Thank you.